So a lot of excitement uh, here in Prague from the official members of the 2010 delegation, which is to be expected. But there are a lot of people attached unofficially to the 2010 bid that have gathered uh, here in Prague as well. They weren't at the hotel for the announcement. They gathered at a local Prague restaurant renamed Canada House for the day. And CTV's Carrie Adams was with them. This is what a packed room full of anxious, emotional Canadians looks like. And this... ...is jubilant pandemonium. It was a small sea of maple leaves as the Canadian contingent in Prague watched the announcement that has made their Olympic dreams come true. We've been hoping and praying and not wanting to be too confident. We, we just couldn't believe it wouldn't be ours. This is such good news. I'm going, my mama, going home. So emotional. We worked really hard on this. These proud Canadians are financial supporters, big boosters who made the trip to the Czech Republic in hopes of a victory celebration. This is the beginning of seven years of excitement, seven years of building, seven years of preparing for the future. Others are Canadians on vacation. We came to, uh, to Europe on a, a family vacation and made uh, the bid announcement part of our vacation and we're having a, having a great time. Or those who happen to be here for this historic moment. It's all about the Maple Leafs. Like inline skating's Team Canada. In our round robin tournament, we played Korea this morning and beat Korea 15 to 1. So I think there's an ir irony there. We just feel so badly for them because a couple of minutes ago, we thought it could have been us. In Prague's historic Old Town Square, Pyeongchang supporters gave a swan song performance. Nearby, a small parade of flag-waving Canadians whipped it up on their way to the next victory party. And the celebrations are continuing into the evening, a chance for these Canadians to relax before the real hard work begins. Over the next seven years, Vancouver's Olympic Committee will need their support more than ever. Carrie Adams, CTV News, Prague.